Hello everyone, this is Bright Cloud Voice ASMR. Thank you for joining me today as we discuss stress-free Christian living. If you like this video, please consider becoming a subscriber. Also, feel free to check out my Christian t-shirts on my website that's listed in the description. Thank you so much for your consideration. And let's get started. It seems like every day, more and more people are feeling the stresses of life. Working, school, kids, we just don't seem to have enough time in the day. We struggle to sleep on and on with lots of different issues and problems to make us feel stressed out. What's truly bad about this situation is that we can begin to feel helpless as we think, how am I ever going to catch up? Or why does my life have to be so confusing? Well, my friend, I have good news. Actually, I have great news. Did you know that the very Prince of Peace, the Creator of the Universe, the all-knowing, omnipotent, omniscious, loving, caring, and kind Savior of the world, Jesus, wants to help us? Yes, we just need to turn to Him and ask for His help. He is only a prayer away. But as we pray, it's important that we believe that we will receive help. The Word of God is very, very powerful. God spoke the world into existence with words, and words have power. The Bible says that life and death is in the power of the tongue. Take a look at Philippians 4, 6, and 7. The promise of this verse is just awesome. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. This verse is really amazing. Let's break it down. It says, do not be anxious about anything, nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, which means to ask. And as we are asking to be thankful that the very peace of God which we cannot understand, will be able to guard our hearts and our minds through Jesus. So, do not be anxious about anything. But you say, that's really hard to do. I agree. We have to train ourselves to stop thinking in a natural way, but start thinking in a supernatural way. God's ways are not our ways. His ways are so much bigger and stronger and more powerful than we can ever imagine. We have to renew our minds. Check out Romans 12, 12. The New Living Translation says, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. I think it's fabulous that we are able to know the very will of God 
and that it is good and pleasing and perfect. Perfect. So much of our battle is between our ears and our minds. We have to remember that when Jesus died on the cross, he already fought every battle for us. We are already victorious. What a wonderful God we serve. So, renew your mind with me. Start asking God to help. He says that he will give us wisdom if we just ask. I think that we forget how much God loves us. He wants us to live an abundant life, serving him, and that we can that we will consider it all joy when we face trials. We will have trials and troubles in this world, but Jesus has overcome the world. So, go to Jesus and pray. I'm reminded in Isaiah 58:11 it says, "The Lord will guide you always. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. Doesn't that sound refreshing? Doesn't that sound soothing? To be a well-watered garden, to be like a spring whose waters never fail. Also, remember that practical solutions are so important. Maybe you need to learn to say no. Maybe you need to delegate, delegate more or try to get yourself organized so that you can keep up better with what you have to do. And remember to laugh. Proverbs 17.22 says, A cheerful heart is good medicine. Ask God to help you with everything. He will. He wants you to come to him with everything. Take heart knowing that he holds you in the palm of his hand. Now, it's time to relax. It's time to take a deep breath in and slowly let it out. Do that again. Take a deep breath in and slowly let it out. Relax your shoulders. Relax your arms. Relax your torso. Relax your legs. Relax your feet. Just release all of the stresses and troubles of the day. Breathe in again and let out your breath ever so slowly. God loves you. I pray for restful and blissful sleep and sweet, sweet dreams for you in the name of Jesus. Let's do a countdown. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 